come to the celebration of this Holy Eucharist as we come together. Let us pray for our departed brothers and sisters, especially Maggie de Jarasco, who died early this morning in the United States. And let us also pray that the Lord will continue to accompany us in our journey so that we'll be able to carry out the mission He has entrusted to all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, in order to partake worthily in the celebration of this Holy Eucharist, let us prepare ourselves by acknowledging all our sins and failures, and then ask God for His loving mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to will the contract of our Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Sin 
favor is to be accounted near. Beyond health and comeliness, I love her, and I choose to have her lover than the light, because of the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her companion, and countless riches of her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, oh
as Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of this I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. At that statement, his face fell. And he went away sad because he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings, it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen. I say to you, There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father for children or lands, for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. House and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands, the persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. He was never contented in life. 
she he divorced five times. So truly bullied as a walk on He was very much engrossed sa iyang kaugalingon. He was so selfish. He was after his fame because he was a wealthy man. He died in the year 1976. When, his, when 1976 was approaching, he was feeling na uh, tiguan siya. He realized na he never did good in his marriage. He failed several times and he realized that his wealth, his money, never gave him the complete or the perfect happiness that he was looking for. Once he was interviewed, he was interviewed by a young man about his life. And they talked about his marriage. And when, they were, he, when he was asked about his married, married life, he said that, yes, I divorced five times. And now, I'm willing to let go of my wealth to look for a good wife and settle with a family and be happy with a family. And then the interviewer asked him, Sir, is your realization uh, based also on the fact that when you die, you will not be able to bring along your wealth? And then he responded, Oh yes, because after, when I die, to bring all those wealth of mine, is quite a heavy load. So, at, towards the end of his life, he wanted to settle, he wanted to be happy, he wanted to find a wife with whom he will be happy for the rest of his life, sacrificing his whole, his whole wealth. My dear friends, this true story of Get Getty or J, J. Paul Getty is quite similar to the gospel that we have heard. A young man approached Jesus and he asked Jesus what must he do in order to inherit the kingdom of God. So Jesus enumerated to him what he should do by telling the Ten Commandments. And then the young man said, Lord, teacher, I have been faithful in fulfilling those commandments. Then Jesus told him, you need only one thing, and that is to sell everything. Then give what you, what what the proceeds of what you said, give to the poor, and then come and follow me. Since he was so rich, he was not happy with what Jesus told him. So he left Jesus, he went away, continued with his life to, be, to, get, to be, 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 become more rich in his life. My dear friends, Today, Jesus Christ is challenging each and every one of us. If we want really to be happy in this world, and most especially in the life after this world, by inheriting the kingdom of God, we need only one thing. And that is, while we are still alive here on earth, we should never be attached to earthly possessions. We must be ready to share what we have with one another. Because all of us, each one of us, is only a steward of what we possess. 
God gave those to us in order to be shared with one another, especially with the poor and the needy. And my dear friends, we are gathered today at this very hour as members of the SGD Lay Partners Bohol chapter. And I think the message of Jesus Christ has meaning for each one of us. While I was reflecting on what to share with you, I was reminded of my beautiful experience during the last chapter in Rome. I was able to listen to the sharing of one of the lay partners representing the ASPAC zone. So representing our zone by the name of Susan, a lay partner from India. I was so touched by her sharing and I could see how she was a genuine disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. She was a professional. Both her husband and she had a good work. But they were not blessed by God to have children. But she accepted her faith of being childless. And she took that positively by accepting in her life, no, together with her husband, that God must have a mission for, for them. So the husband and the wife, Susan, both of them agreed that they will volunteer to become the partners of the SDV. So they joined and they became very effective, very dedicated until the time came when Susan, after consulting with her husband, decided to resign from her good job in order to dedicate full time as a lay partner. So she can't sacrifice her career. She dedicated her whole life to become an SVD lay partner. And according to her, she would really go from one place to the other to the different station of the SVDs in India. And India is so vast. So she really shared her time. She shared her whole self to be of service to our Lord Jesus Christ. And I think that is what Jesus Christ is asking each one of us. That we must be ready to share something for the mission, for His mission here on earth. And glad that you, my dear friends, became our lay partners, sacrificing your time, sharing your time for the different activities that we have. We have started and we began and we are so enthusiastic to continue our journey as lay partners and I am really touched also and impressed. And I hope that something good will come out next Saturday when we will have the workshop on our congregational direction because that workshop will, I hope, will inspire each one of us to do more sacrifices in order to be of service, especially to the poor whom we will select to be of service in here in Buhol. So my dear friends, we have to remember, Jesus Christ is giving each and every one of us the talents that we have so that we can use them to continue our mission. And in the Gospel, we heard that the young man asked Jesus, what must I do in order to inherit the kingdom of God? Friends, in the context of the Gospel, the word inherit has 
different meaning as we understand, or how the way we understand uh, in our language. And when we speak of inheritance, we're going to kung dato atong ginikanan, mura legally, we're entitled to an inheritance. No? Mura dunay, tato ko na, is ka? Dunay legality implications sa inheritance ka. Mura entitled ang individual sa inheritance from the parents. But in the context of the gospel, the word inherit to inherit has a different meaning. During the time of Jesus, when we say inherit, it means a free gift, a free gift coming from God, given to people whom God would like to bless. So the kingdom is a blessing to be given freely to us as a gift. Pero sa hay, di kira tumawa sa human context nga mahagbong mis in the context of reward and punishment. But we inherit the kingdom as a reward for the good works that we do. But we inherit the kingdom because it is a free gift of Jesus to each and every one of us for the goodness that we have shown here on earth while we are still alive. And so my dear friends, let us continue to journey in this world. Let us continue to pray that we will inherit the kingdom of God, that we will be recipient of God's gift of the kingdom of God at the end of our lives, so that in this way, kita kita hadyapunta sa inarian sa Dios as true brothers and sisters of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of the King, of substantial of the Father, through whom all things remain. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to trust the living in the dead. And is seen that without no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, who is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one who will be the Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we pursue our quest for a better economic condition, let us not forget that there are higher values in life which we should not neglect or sacrifice for the sake of material advantages. Let us pray to God as we say, Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father and all the leaders of the Church, may they guide the faithful with wisdom and factual concern for their spiritual good. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For the rich and the powerful, may the abundance of material means 
not bind them to the existence of higher values and the needs of the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For all those who seek the meaning of life, may they find it in the person of Jesus and in living according to his gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For our indigenous peoples, may they enjoy the full respect of their legal rights and the solidarity of all Filipinos. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For all those who live in conditions of extreme poverty, may they find in the Christian community the respect and solidarity which will enable them to improve their condition through education and opportunities to earn their living with dignity and creativity. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. For those who exclude God from their lives, May they overcome the fear of false ideologies and realize that only in God can they find true fulfillment and meaning. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Source of all wisdom, graciously hear us. Lord God, give us a real passion for the values that last forever, while not forgetting our daily needs as well as the needs of our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your 
mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the time of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer Sunday this sign of peace. Peace. peace.
We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Announcement, Madam President. Ako na yung nag-celebrate yung mandala. Ako, ako na lang yung mandala. So, on behalf of Madam President, thank you for joining us in our Holy Rosary tonight and for this Mass. So, reminder lang sa atong workshop, no? On the Congregational Direction on Saturday, the 16th. It will be held here in Covered Court. It will be, the registration will begin at 8.30. So please come on time so that we can come, start on time also and end early. So once again, thank you and see you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Now, mighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master said that go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.